is uh, part four of my book, Ramit Karan. Ramit Karan. Oh, that's confusing. Alright, okay, um, Quran 568, now I do the Arabic, okay, literal, word by word, this is how it goes, say, O people of the book, that'd be the Jews and Christians, uh, you are not on anything until you stand firm by the Torah and the Injil. Torah and that'd be the Torah in the New Testament, which is gospel, Angel to Christians. And what has been revealed to you from your Lord, and surely increased many of them, what has been revealed to you from your Lord in rebellion and disbelief. You know, very understandable since believing in the Quran with the Bible would cause mass confusion. So do not grieve over the disbelieving people, even though it's not their fault that they are trying to live with mass contradictions from Allah. Okay, this is a pickle version of this uh, 56 Quran Surah 568. Say, O people of the Scripture, you have uh, not of guidance till you observe the Torah and Gospel, and that which has which was revealed to you from your Lord, that which is revealed unto you, the Muhammad from thy Lord, is certain to increase. The constituent, constitu, con, con, the contumacy and disbelief of many of them, but grieve not the disbelieving folk. Well, I can certainly see why it would cause uh, disbelief. Okay, shock here. Say, O oh, people, followers of the book, you follow no good till you keep up the Torah and the Injil, and that which is revealed to you from your Lord, and surely that which has been revealed to you from your Lord shall make many of them increase in, in inordinacy and unbelief. Uh, grieve not therefore for the unbelieving people. <laughs> uh, why? It's not their fault. If, if they're if they're, if they're trying to stand firm upon both the Torah and Angel, and then at, and the Bible too, yeah, it's, it's sure going to cause problems, you know. Okay, Yusuf Ali, 1985 version. Say, O people of the, of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand. Unless you stand fast by the law, the gospel, and all the revelation that is come to you from your Lord, it is the revelation that cometh uh, to thee from thy Lord that increaseth in most of them their obstinate rebellion and blasphemy. Well, I can understand why. I mean, I really, if, if, if you try to believe in the Bible and the Quran at the same time, yeah, I can see why. But sorrow uh, uh, thou not over these people without faith. Yeah, well, even though it's not their fault for trying to obey the Quran. Oh well. Now this is Quran 547, and here is the Arabic. And this is word by word. And let the people. Oh, I have to. This is here, yeah. Uh, and let the. Uh, yeah. And let. Okay. Word by. Word. And let's judge the people of the angel Christian, as the Christians in the New Testament, by what Allah hath revealed in it. And whosoever does not judge by what Allah hath revealed uh, those, they are the defiantly disobedient. Okay, now this is the fixed version. Now, again, this is why this should be in uh, Ramat's Quran. This should be left in the Quran. Let the people of the Gospel of the New Testament judge by uh, that which Allah hath revealed therein. Whosoever judges not by which Allah has revealed such are evil livers. Shakir, and the followers of the angel should have judged by which Allah hath revealed in it, and who and whoever did not judge by what Allah hath revealed, those are they who are the transgressors. Now Yusuf Ali, 1985 version. Let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah hath revealed therein. That's the Quran, of course. If any of the if fail to judge by the light of what Allah hath revealed. They are no better than those who reveal. Who well, do I know something? I use the angel to judge the of the Quran, and that's why I'm not a Muslim. <laughs> okay, now this is a shockier version. Uh, see the problem here, the point of having this uh, past tense 
uh, you know, Shakir sees the problem here. It's the point of having that was past tense should have judged. Like there was a time you should have used the Gospel Angel New Testament to judge your end of the Quran. Okay, now I think this should be added to the Quran. This should stay in the Quran. This is Quran 1094, and here's the Arabic. Word for this is a transliteration word for word coming up. It says here. It says here. So if you're in doubt about what we have revealed, this is all saying we have revealed to you, then ask those who have been reading this book, Holy Bible, before you. Verily, we, it has come to you the truth from your Lord, so do not be among the, the, the doubters. Now the pickle version says, And if thou, Muhammad added, art in, dis, uh, art in doubt concerning that which uh, we... Um, reveal unto thee, then question those who have, been, who have read the scripture uh, that was before thee. The Bible was before the time of Muhammad. Verily the truth from thy Lord has come unto thee, so do not be thou of the wayfarers. So if you're in doubt about the Quran, you should come to me for my reading the Bible. Does that make sense? Okay, Shakir says, but if you are in doubt about what we have revealed to you, ask those who have read the book, Bible before you. Certainly the truth has come to you from your Lord. Therefore, you should not be of the de disputers. Yusuf Ali, uh, if thou wert in doubt to what we have revealed unto thee, then uh, ask those who have been reading the book, that's the Bible, from before thee. Not, you know, it doesn't say recite, it says re who have been reading this. So it's, they've been reading this book, uh, that before thee. The truth hath indeed come to thee from thy Lord, so be in no way those in doubt. In no way those in doubt. Of all the scriptures in the Quran that should have really been abrogated or removed, if Islam were uh, true, is Quran 1094. If Islam were true, Quran 2.106 and 1601 about abrogation should have been used to abrogate Quran, Surah chapter 1094. For if Muslim, if a Muslim is to follow Quran 1094, uh, being that Muhammad is the exalted man that uh, Islam has the Muslims to, uh, to emulate, the exalted man Islam has the, the Muslims to emulate, what is to keep that Muslim from having a Jew using Ezekiel 38 and Psalm 83 to preach to him that the Holy Land belongs to the Jews? Or for a Christian to tell the Muslim that Jesus is the Lamb of God who fulfills and brings sense to all, quote, all his book given to Musa, the Torah, with a talk of, uh, of innocent animals being used for sin offerings and blood atonement? Uh, makes sense to it makes sense of uh, passages in Numbers, a book in the Torah, about a me metallic snake on a stick being used as successful snake bite medicine for any Hebrew being uh, bitten by a poison snake when looking up and seeing it held up by Moses. Or a spotless lamb whose blood uh, placed over and across the doorways kept the angel of death from killing the firstborn of Israel with the firstborn of Egypt as described in the Torah's book of Exodus. I mean, why have Quran 10, 94, in the Quran? If Christianity is false, by having all only making it appear that Jesus went to the cross and, fu and, and fulfilling all those passages in the Torah, all is but given to Musa. When it was Allah who supposedly secretly took Jesus up into heaven according to the quote, clear signs Quran. Talk about Allah not being the best of planners. If yeah, if Allah is as as Muslims say, uh, not the best of deceivers. I tell Muslims that if Allah was truly into abrogation, like you get with Quran ten, well, like you get with Quran. Uh, 
61101 and Quran 106, then, then Quran 1094 should be abrogated to have then Quran 1094 should be abrogated oh shoot, I've got it bounced stuff that way Yeah. Then Quran 1094 should be abrogated. You have the most compassionate, most merciful, all of warning readers of the Quran to not go to those who had been reading the before scriptures Bible, being that a Jew might bring in Ezekiel 38 and Psalm 83. That only makes sense that the Holy Land belongs to the Jews and not Muslims. Or being that they, Muslims, might come upon a Christian who talks of how Jesus' death and resurrection makes sense of the innocent animals depicted in the Old Testament Torah, making sense of the sin offerings, the blood atonement, the spotless lamb, the spotless Passover lamb's blood on doorways to keep the angel of death from killing the firstborn of Israel with the Egyptians. You know, I've already read that. I know I have. But, as you can see, Quran 1094 was never abrogated, and the danger of Islam being refuted by people of the book remains. Thus, a Muslim is still to come to me for my reading the Bible. A Muslim, of course, may say that before scriptures or book that makes people the book is not the Bible. But if the before scriptures aren't the Holy Bible, then, as I ask them over and over again, ad infinitum, what then are the before scriptures to come to to come and ask me about for my reading of, not reciting, but my reading of. Guess what? No Muslim has ever had an answer for such a question. I think I've got to end it here. I do. Bye.